What's up, Night Owls? Today's gonna be a more serious video. I'm gonna be addressing some of the things that are going on within our community regarding the uh, the streamer Arcadum. For those of you who don't know who Arcadum is, he's a pretty big streamer on Twitch that streams other big streamers on Twitch in Dungeons and Dragons games. And he runs them in his own homebrew world and he has a, a Discord where a very active community. I'll post a clip where he explains who he is uh, in an interview with Devin Nash, which is actually how I found him. Well, I guess I'll, I guess I'll start at the beginning. Uh, I've been playing D&D for 17 years, since I was 13. Um, I've been doing it professionally for nine to 10 years. And uh, it was three years ago that I transitioned to um, Twitch, specifically, by suggestion of friends and various individuals. Mm -hmm. But what I've been doing since then is I've been building on the same world the entire time. Oh, and, it's man. and it's only been it's always been the same world. Uh, I've rewritten it a few times. I've recreated it, but it probably started to hit its true form uh, 10 years ago when I first started. And so he builds this world for his community within the Discord and his streams to interact with. So this morning, a Twitter thread was posted with a, a number of women coming forward with their allegations toward Arcadum, uh, several twit longers, and I'm not going to go over everything that's in there, but they do provide receipts in some of these, and I'll leave a link in the description to this video, to to that thread. It's it's lengthy and it is tough to read. It is tough to read. I I didn't I didn't get all the way. Um, I didn't get through all of it. I'm going to be honest. Um, maybe for the rest of this video, I'll look through some of it. It's it's tough to read. Some of these allegations include sexual harassment, emotional manipulation, and there's even grooming in there. It looks like his MO was to use his position to get women to do what he wanted, sort of a power dynamic. And if they said no, he would make them feel guilty, make them feel lesser for not wanting to, and just sort of pr putting more pressure on them to get what he wants. And this is a pretty common theme throughout these twit longers. So first and foremost, I want people to feel safe within the community and at my table. And my thoughts on this, you know, what a scumbag. Um, uh, the way I found this, the way I found this Twitter thread was uh, co carnage. Uh, I was scrolling through my Twitter feed. I just woken up, hadn't gotten out of bed yet. And I was scrolling through my Twitter feed and I saw that co carnage was done with D and D at least for a while. And, and uh, I'm a pretty huge fan of co carnage. Um, and obviously that drew my attention. I just, you know, as soon as I saw that, I was like, he's done with done with D and D. What happened there? And then you know, I followed that rabbit hole to the to the allegations and the twit longers, and I started reading through a lot of them. Uh what a scumbag. Um, I mean, why? Why? Don't just don't. Don't do it. Um it, it's it's you know, just don't sexually harass people. How hard is that? Uh, my heart goes out to to the victims. Obviously, obviously, that's 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 the most important thing. Um, I mean, they, they're this is going to have a pretty huge impact on on them, um, as well as our community. It's it's got this ripple effect. Normally in these situations, I would wait for um, a response and just kind of try to weigh in. Um, I don't like the idea of just of just moving forward without allegations, without some sort of proof. But the proof is there. The receipts are provided. There is a ton, ton of people that have come forward about it and a lot of twit longers. Again, I'll leave those. I'll leave those in the description. I'm not going to go over go through all of them. Um, I'll probably read through them throughout the day just to, to really, just to really, uh, just settle in. Just, uh, that's, that's, that's today. That's today. And there's so much, there's so much going on there. Um, and if you do decide to read through it, you're probably going to need to take breaks. Uh, you'll, you know, just, uh, I was a pretty fan, pretty big fan of, um, uh, of Arcadum. I liked what he did for the for the D and D community, at least what I thought he was doing for the D and D community. Uh, he was pretty big. He was a pretty important. He was pretty inspiring um, for me. Uh, somebody that's not Matthew Mercer 
being able to move up to that position, like to be uh, well known throughout the D and D community, uh, it's pretty inspiring. But not anymore. Not anymore. Uh, gosh, that's a lot. It's a lot to take in. Uh, that's all I've got for this video. Don't sexually harass people. You know, spread positivity. That's great. And I'll see you at sundown.